to verify the certificates and count the votes of the electors of the several states for President and Vice President of the United States. After ascertaining the certificates are regular in form and authentic, the tellers will announce the votes cast by the electors of each state, beginning with the state of Alabama. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Alabama seems to be regular in form and authentic. It appears, therefore, that Donald J. Trump of the state of New York received nine votes for president, and Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana received nine votes for vice president. Mr. President, I object to the certificate from the state of Alabama on the grounds that the electoral votes were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given, and that the electors were not lawfully certified any objection be presented in writing, signed by both members of the House of Representatives and as both member of the House of Representatives and a senator. Objection is in writing, signed by a member of the House of Representatives, but uh, not yet by a member of the United States in Senate. In that case, the objection cannot be entertained. Mr. President, the certificate of electoral vote of the state of Alaska seems to be regular in form and authentic. And it appears therefrom that Donald J. Trump of the state of New York received three votes for president, and Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana received three votes for vice president. The state of Florida seems to be regular in form and authentic. Uh, I have an objection because 10 of the 29 electoral votes cast by Florida were cast by electors not lawfully certified. Mr. President, I object to the certificate from the state of Georgia on the grounds that the electoral votes were no not. Debate. There's no debate. Second, it is over. Uh. <laughs> Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Illinois seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Hillary Clinton of the state of New York received 20 votes for president, and Tim Kaine of the Commonwealth of Virginia received 20 votes for vice president. Mr. President, I object because people are horrified by the overwhelming evidence Section of Section 18, Title III of the United States Code prohibits debate in the joint session. Mr. President, even with the there is no of debate in order. Is it signed by a senator? The gentlelady. The objection cannot be entertained. Mr. President, um, I object. Massive voter suppression. Debate that is not in order. Debate counting, is uh, not in order. Ballots that were provisional that denied individuals access General to polling places. will suspend. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of New Hampshire seems to be regular in form. Violations of the voting rights no act. And there is no debate by in the, the joint government. session. Mr. President, the, the certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Texas seems to be regular in form and authentic. Mr. President, I object on behalf of the millions of Americans, including members of the intelligence community, there who is are no debate. The evidence the debate of the is prohibited. Interfered in our elections. I wish to ask, is there one United States senator who will join me in this letter There is no protection? debate. There is no debate. One. The gentlewoman will suspend. The sergeant at arms will remove the protesters from the gallery. The Chamber will be in order. The change will be in order. The purpose of this joint session having been concluded pursuant to the Senate concurrent resolution 2 of the 115th Congress, the chair declares the joint session dissolved.